What's up, Pokemon fanatics? My name is Hydrus, and welcome back to some more Pokemon Omega Ruby and Pokemon Alpha Sapphire news coverage. Now, the next batch of Koro Koro information has been posted to the Japanese forums, and it also showcases the new information about the new games. So, we already had Mega Blaziken. Now, I don't know about you guys, but that kind of hinted to me, hey, Blaziken is a Hoenn Pokemon, and we had Mega Charizard, Mega Venusaur, and Mega Blastoise. All three Kanto starters had a, had a Mega Evolution. So why did we only get one Hoenn starter? Well, Mega Sceptile and Mega Swampert are in the core core information for the new information about the new games, Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. So we will hopefully be seeing Mega Swampert and Mega Sceptile in the new games, which obviously Mega Sceptile has actually changed a little bit. Mega Sceptile will actually be a grass dragon type. And Mega Swampert will actually maintain his type as a water Pokemon. And Mega Diancy will also be the same, which Mega Diancy, if you guys can see on the screen, also got a Mega Evolution along with Mega Sceptile and Mega Swampert. Now, I don't know much about Diancy. I, I haven't really, I've never used it. I don't have the Pokemon myself because I did I did miss the event, unfortunately. But Mega Diancy, in my opinion, didn't really need an evolu Mega Evolution. But if those of you that like Diancy, it's getting a Mega Evolution. Tell me what you guys think of Mega Diancy's Mega Evolution. And... Along with Mega Sceptile's little type change, Mega Sceptile, his ability will be changing to Lightning Rod, and Mega Swampert will be Swift Swim. So that, that's the new abilities. But, the stuff that everyone wants to know about is Kyogre and Groudon. Kyogre and Groudon's quote-unquote new Mega Evolutions, or what they have been shown as in the box art, with the Groudon having the Omega symbol, you know, they're... they're lines light up with goldish or blue if you're Kyogre and you have the alpha symbol on Kyogre that is really referred to as their primal prehistoric or primeval state so these new forms it's going to be primal prehistoric or primeval Groudon and primal prehistoric primeval Kyogre which this regression it's actually going back it's not actually evolving further they're kind of going back to their primeval states before the current versions of Kyogre and Groudon exist, if that makes sense. In my opinion, that's what I'm getting from it. So, it's called. It's going to be a regression called Ancient Devolution. So it's not evolution, it's devolution. So they're kind of de-evolving instead of evolving in their mega forms. If that if that makes sense. I mean, <laughs> I don't know. But, it's just what, that's what Cerebi says. That's what Koro Koro is re referring to in the information. It's going to be an an ancient devolution. So, Kyogre and Groudon, instead of moving up and getting a better... Well, not a better, I mean a different form factor, such as all the Mega Evolutions do. They're kind of going back to the roots of the Alpha and Omega symbols on their arms and on their heads, I guess. And just going back to their forms before what their forms are currently, with the red lines and whatnot. Both the Mach and the Acro Bike are returning to the game. That was pretty much a given since it was a full Hoenn remake. It is returning to the game, so you'll be able to get the Mach and the Acro Bike as well as Team Aqua and Team Magma are returning. That's also a given. Of course Team Aqua and Team Magma are going to return. It's not going to have Team Plasma. Not, we're not in we're not in Diamond Pearl. We're in we're in Hoenn. So we're getting Team Aqua and Team Magma. And also if you guys can see on the screen, Team Magma has gotten a massive redesign. <laughs> if you guys remember from Pokémon Ruby and Pokémon Sapphire, the pixelated sprites well, now they're getting 3D sprites. Of course, they're going with the same graphics as Pokemon X and Y. But Team Magma, which is led by Maxi and his admins, Tabitha and Courtney, and then Team Aqua, Archie and his admins, Matt and Shelly, all of them got redesigns as well as the Grunts. So depending on which game, you're going to see whatever team you get. So Ruby, Team Magma, Alpha, Sapphire, you get Team Aqua. Also... The new me the e Mega Evolution activating item in the game is called the Mega Bangle. So, that's that. That's that's pretty much all there is to know. Also, Steven Stone returns. So, Steven returns to the game, and he appears to have a Mega Charizard X. Interesting. So, he has a Mega Charizard X, and he's after the secret for Mega Evolution. So, all of this information that I have been revealing to you guys, all this information can be found on Cerebi. I'll link the source down below for you guys. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it and you cannot wait for Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, please let me know. And if you get the game, what starter are you going to be getting and which game are you going to be getting? 
My per my personal opinion, I will be getting Swampert. I want Mega Swampert because he looks just badass. And because I like Kyogre. And I am a water Pokemon fan, so I love Kyogre. He's awesome. I like Kyogre's design. But I'll probably get both games just so I can get both of those covered for you guys and do gameplay on both Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. So, again, let me know in the comments, guys, what your starter is going to be and... Do you like the Mega Forms? Do you like Mega Sceptile? And do you like Mega Swamper? And do you like that Mega Sceptile got a Grass Dragon type change? So it's also it's part Dragon, part Grass. So anyway, just let me know what you guys think of the information down below in the comments, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, don't forget to leave a like on your way out. If you subscribe for more Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire information and coverage, and I'll see you guys in the next video.